Okay, we're going to go ahead and continue our introduction to algebra by talking about algebraic expressions. More specifically, how to translate verbal phrases to algebraic expressions. Make sure that you have your video notes so that you can fill them out as we go through the video. Pause when necessary so that you can stay caught up. Okay, let's go over some of our clue words. You have been able to identify these clue words for a long time now. Uh, words that represent a certain operation, mathematical operation, such as addition. You know that if you hear the word or see the word plus, that means to add. A uh, total of, increased by, combined, together, or all together. All of these words represent the addition operation. Subtraction. Okay, subtract, gave, take away, minus, less than, less, the difference. These all mean to subtract. The multiplication, if you time something, if you double or triple it, the product of, of is one that kind of escapes you. Of means to multiply. Increase by a factor, twice or multiply. These are all words that mean multiplication. Additional word that means multiplication would be area. So you can add that to your list. And over here on the addition, I forgot, but go ahead and add perimeter. If you want to find the perimeter of something, that means to add. If you want to find the area of something, that means to multiply. Okay, clue words for division. The quotient of, per. Per can mean division or per can mean multiplication. Okay, it's just depending on the context, how you're talking about it. It's five dollars per CD. Then you would multiply five times the number of CDs that you're getting to get the total cost. Or if you're going to share a hundred per five students, that would be a division. So again, it's the context. Uh, percent, ratio, okay, these are new ones that maybe you haven't realized are division. And then we have two new categories. The first one is equals. And this is going to become really important when we get into our equation section. But these are words that mean equal. Is, are, were, was, sold for, yields, will be. All of these are clue words that represent equal. And then parentheses words. Now that we're doing a word of operations, we know that there are groups, some things you need to do first. Well, if you have a verbal or a written problem, a word problem, and you see any of these types of words, then you know that you need to put that into parentheses because you need to solve for that first. The quantity of, twice the sum of, times the sum of, times the difference of, plus the difference of. So these are all just some of the words. There are more out there, but these are more of the ones that you're going to see. Okay, so what we have here, we have some verbal expressions and we're going to match them up to the algebraic expression. Eight increased by a number. Okay, so in our verbal expressions, or our verbal phrases, sometimes we're gonna be given the variable like x. Eight increased by x. Sometimes we're just going to be, it's just going to say a number. In that case, you would assign a variable. You could assign it an n for number. It could be any variable that you want. In this case, you can see all the variables that are being used are x, so we're just going to stick with x. 8 increased by a number. Okay, we know the number is x, or the unknown number, the a number is x. We also have 8. Then we need to look for that clue word that tells us the operation and that clue word is increased. Increased means to add. So we're looking for an expression that shows eight plus x. So if we come down, we can see that it's right here, eight plus x. So we're going to match the expression with the phrase. Okay, our next one, eight less than twice a number. Okay, twice a number. Twice means that we're going to multiply. And we're going to multiply by two. That's what twice means. 
We don't know what the number is, so it's going to be x. That's the unknown variable. And 8 less than. It's not 8 less the 2x. It says 8 is less than. So that means this 8 less than, that's subtraction, we need to subtract the 8. So we're going to look for an expression that has 2x minus 8. Twice x minus 8, and it's right here. So just draw a line to match it. The product of 8 and a number. Product is our clue word. This means to multiply. And what are we multiplying? We're multiplying 8 and a number. We don't know the number, so that's our variable x. So now we're looking for something that says 8 times x, or x times 8, which is right here, 8x. Remember, a number written next to a letter, that operation is multiplication. The quotient of a number in 8. Quotient means to divide. All right, so when we're talking about a division problem, you're going to write it in the order that you're given. You're given a number. We don't know the number, that's our x. That comes first, so we write that first in our expression. Of a number and 8, the 8 would come second. So we're looking for the expression that says x divided by 8, which is right here. Remember, we want to start writing our division in fraction form. So these match. Then 10 more than twice a number. 10 more means that we're going to add. More than means to add. Twice a number. Twice means you're going to multiply by 2. We don't know the number, so we're going to use our x. So we want to look for the 10 plus 2x, the expression. And here it is right here, 10 plus 2x. Okay, so for your independent practice, I want you to do the same thing for these verbal phrases over here on the right side. Match them up to the expressions. You're not going to use the expressions more than once.